And it is one you cannot win. If Rosidas dies, his blood is on your hands. His blood and every one of your friends. Are you mad? We can still stop. Enough! We will not stop! I don't want to kill you, Commander. I will stop you. My name is Zivok! Another challenger. I hope you're more resilient than the last one. By the gods! This statue came alive! I am no statue, child. 
If you cannot comprehend what stands before you, how are you to entertain me? I came here for another reason. Oh, then tell me, little one, why are you here? You protect an object of great power. I have been asked to return it to where it belongs. A most noble of causes. Sadly, I cannot grant your request. There's too much at stake. I won't leave without it. The power I guard is not for the weak-willed. I can resist. One must risk everything in the pursuit of knowledge. If you can answer my questions wisely, you will have proven yourself worthy. What is large yet never grows, has roots that cannot be seen, and is taller than trees. A mountain. How fascinating. As small as your thumb, I am light in the air. You may hear me before you see me, but trust that I'm there. A hummingbird. Hmm. How clever you are. At night they come without being fetched, and by day they are lost without being stolen. The stars. You're a wise one. You are an interesting one. Now, take what you have learned and touch the symbols that reflect your choices. Kithera is... Well, if you're looking to unleash a new plague somewhere... This is not what I expected. Camouflage, my unimaginative friend. A mere disguise to ward off those seeking the glory inside. Ah! You hear them too? There is something there. And whatever's making that noise must be... Two or three times the size of a man. Quickly, use the disc! Open the door! They're expecting us! Whatever's inside, I'm ready. My brothers and sisters! Eternity! 
the house of the gods, creators of the universe. Outstretch your mighty hands and raise me to the heaven.
slaying myth of creatures. <laughs> The Minotaur. Mother would be so proud. Thank <laughs> you. 
must have picked up the artifact that... The knowledge stored here is overwhelming. It will take me years to decipher it all. What about sealing Atlantis? Have you found a way to do it? Oh, yes, yes, I think so. Well, what is it? The staff. The staff is the key. All right, it's time. I can't, not yet. Listen to yourself. You've gone mad. You need to accept some knowledge was not meant to be had. Knowledge is power. The only power worth having. At what cost? I will not be ordered around or lectured by you. It was your plan to seal this place, and I agreed to help. That was before I realized what we would uncover about the first civilization. The creation of humankind. We? are sealing this place to keep the cult from using it to enslave humanity. That is bigger than your quest for knowledge. The cult will be nothing but an insect to swat once the power is ours. Give me the staff. You have to. For the sake of everyone. The knowledge contained in here could fix everything for generations to come. I can't just walk away from that. What good is knowledge if there is no one around to use it? Leave if you must, but I will not. I'm not going without the staff. I may be old, but I am not as weak as I appear. <laughs> deserve the infinite knowledge of the creators. That's the point. Nobody does. No. Whoa. 
To leave Nima. More soldiers are coming. Our hideout is below the rock arch. Find us there. Behold your gift to them. Death. Look at them. Do you remember the screams? Does it weigh on you? All the misery you've caused? If you love your beasts so much, stop sending them to die! You disrupt the natural order. And thus, you are unnatural. It will be my pleasure to restore order. To do nature's will. To return to the dead. Let's Did you go? I must track him down. Maybe Icarus will have better luck finding him. Hey! I'll find you, huntsman! Wouldn't the world be safer without you? You've burned whole villages. Poison them. The order kills hundreds to stop your kind from killing thousands. A crack in the wall. Looks like the Huntsman might have slipped through here. Stinks down here. Animals. Um, Alexios! I will carve up your heart for a morning. This kid, I'd rather die than suffer It's over, Huntsman. <coughs> oh. Is that what you think? Entrance. Took the easy way. Artabanus! The 
Atreya himself. So you are Artabanas? Pactius. After all you've done to this family, how does it feel to have them watch you die? Is that how Artabanas tells it? No. He started this. What is he talking about? <coughs> we trusted him. I loved him. We were all as brothers. But he threw his blade against us. Did you not consider the cost? They'd be alive. Your mother. Your siblings. <coughs> May as well have killed them himself. You're in the order. You deal in lies. Lie, would a dying man lie. Darius, say something. Yes, Darius. Tell them about our promise. To protect Persia. Our children. Their future. Then... Then why did... Why did you betray us? To keep that promise. It's time I told you the truth about Artabanus, protector of Persia. We'll feign a frontal assault on the convoy, drawing away the majority of Xerxes' forces, giving you the chance to... <laughs> Xerxes won't know what hit him. Tomorrow? The Order's tyrant dies, and Persia will be safe. <laughs> there will always be more tyrants. And there will always be us to stop them. King Xerxes had died, but his son continued his legacy. The new king needs to die, Amorgus. We can't just stab all our problems. Artaxerxes is king now. His father and his father before him were order puppets. With the order, we can take no chances. What if the order aren't our enemy? They're powerful. Maybe if we work with them, we'll have all the resources we need to protect Persia. Artaxerxes dies, as does anyone in league with the Order. As I suspected. I can't let you in there, Atovanus. They got to you. No. I went to them. Traitor!
Amorges joined the Order of the Ancients. From that day, he's led the Huntsmen to destroy us and the Tainted Ones. He was my closest friend. Through war. Your birth. When he called the guards, he doomed our family. The moment you drew your blade against the Order, you doomed us. Did you ever stop to think who else your blade has killed? Mother? My brothers and sisters? Me? My daughter. I think of nothing else. Pactias' death will be a beacon to the Order. Amorges and his full might will rain down on Macedonia. Father, we can't stay here. I'll pack the hideout. Go. I have an old friend to bury. Darius? Alexios. <laughs> Sometimes I think about... A simpler life, small stall in the Agora, fish. Teaching my son how to catch them. Do you ever wonder about a simpler life? I fight for the greater good, for the ones I love. But it's always the ones we love we hurt the most. Nima, bring your coat. You'll need warmth for the road ahead. Do you think we'll see each other again? I do. How can you be so sure? Trust me. Pactias is dead, but the Order lives on. And with Amorgus at their head, none of us are safe. He'll bring his full mind against us. Warriors, wit, cunning. He'll never stop hunting you. Or us. Let him hunt. He'll find only death. Okay. You need help. You need... Oh! I don't need anything. I've already destroyed your boat. Don't make me destroy you too. You! Amorgus told me all about the Tainted Ones. It is not your fault you were born as you are, but it is your fate to die like the rest. I will do what the Order needs done. Fela! <gasps> you! What are you doing here? There's so much I want to say, so many things! 
Please, give me a chance. You had your chance. You had years. I had to protect you. I was drowning. Who do you think pulled me out? You? The Order is my family. You are just a memory. My past. You'll never be one of them. You're a tainted one, Fila. What? I know what I am. Amorgus gave me purpose, guided me. I'm no monster. I am the Tempest. You're too far gone. You're Amorgus's puppet. Can't you see that? No. We might be tainted ones, but that doesn't make us who we are. No. I control my fate. I control my future! Please, Phila. Let's just talk, you and me. Forget everything here. Come with us. Glata, don't. She's too far gone. She's not your daughter anymore. She's the Tempest. I'm sorry. I'll cut you from the face of this world! You can't stop me! Face me! Tempest! It's the will of Amorgus! We are not your enemies, Fila. The Order think they can control you, that you are nothing more than an instrument who kills on command. Be more than that. Don't let them take away your humanity. Stand and fight! life for people like us. Only death. <gasps> I always knew it would end like this. Forgive me. I should never have. I'm proud of you. I always have been. Do you hear me? I've always been proud of you. You're my daughter. You always will be. We'll go sailing again, Mother. Just like we used to. Just like we used to. Father, the waters are open. We should get out while we still can.
You've once told me of a dream you had. A simpler life. A small stall in the Agora, fishing with your son. I remember. Are you going to do it? I might. Someday. Boat sailing with or without you. It's now or never. Alexios. Darius. So, this is it. This is it. Real connections with people are rare. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go. Stay. Please. I wonder if Darius has kept watch all night. Better say good morning. <clears throat> you really don't sleep, do you? The soft kiss of the breeze. The smell of the ocean. Why should I sleep? I'd miss it, Alexios. I'd miss all of it. The hungriest warrior in the Greek world has ravaged our milk and bread supplies again. Typical Spartan stomach. His appetite may consume us all. More milk and bread it is, then. I'll go buy the usual. Double. But here... I was supposed to pass these to the merchant, but... I got carried away with the, uh... He has that effect on people. I'll deliver this for us, and, uh, <laughs> by double the usual. The Agora should already be open. Be home soon. my Elpidios. How's my son? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he missed his pater. And he missed him. Promise me, Alexios. This is our life. This is our home. Do you remember Macedonia? Of course. Walls of dust and flame, the huntsmen. I remember you, Nima. Only you. Home isn't a place. It's people. It's us. As long as we're together, we're home. You know, Alpedios? That's where your pater grew up. Kefalonia. Right there. But it wasn't until I came here, until I met you, that I truly felt home. Kleta and Fila on the beach that day. They couldn't escape their fate. It always ends in blood. My family ran for so long, but maybe some things just can't be outrun. Whatever storm rolls in, whatever Amorgis and the Order are planning, I swear to you, I swear to our son, I will keep us safe. This fight we have with the Order, this war, it's not going to be won in my lifetime. Or yours. Maybe I was foolish to think it could be. But fate does not define us. Our actions do. Our little Leonidas spoke his first word today. What? I didn't hear? That's not possible. What did he say? Grand Pater. Or maybe he burped. It's hard to tell at his age. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my genius grandson? Who's just like his Grand Pater, Darius. Is there anything more beautiful than this? A simple life. Get word to Persia. Send the fleet. Send everyone. By your command, Amorgius. I'll see you soon, old friend. Get on the boat, quickly! Father, come back to us.
You promised to protect them. You promised to keep them safe. I should have stayed behind. I should have been with them. I... It's my fault. I did this. We're supposed to pay for our pasts, for our mistakes, not our children. There's no sign of Elpidios, but he's still alive, Darius. I know it. If the Order have him, we can find him. You've lost people you loved before. How... How did you survive? Who said I survived? Thank you for all of it. Every... Wonderful, painful, beautiful moment for every moment spent with you. I love you, Nima. I'll find our boy. I'll bring him home. Trust me. Alexios. By the gods. Oh, I am sorry. The Order did all this. This weaponry they brought would make even Ares turn his head. There's only one place in the Greek world that makes anything like it. Messenia. They came for us. For me. If the Order is in Messenia, that's where I'll go.
Darius! Eagle Bearer. Never thought I'd find you here. Count yourself lucky. I didn't mistake you for one of them. What are you doing in Messenia? If Elpidios is alive, he's with Amorgus. And Messenia is Amorgus' stronghold. Looks like you figured that much out on your own. But it'll be hard to find him. He's too well insulated. There must be a way to flush him out. I have some ideas. Amorgus has the entire Spartan army at his back, led by some of his most trusted commanders. It will be tough to get to him unless we weaken his forces. We can do that. The Order has a large production line for their weapons. There is a commander behind it all. Start by speaking to the Ilotes. They might know where he is. Also, the Cult of Cosmos is reinforcing the Order in Messenia, and an Order commander, Democratis, is in charge of seeing that through. If we cut him down, the Cult will no longer be in our way. I'm good at calling the Cult. There's one more thing. I've heard that the Order has captured an Athenian general. He is integral to my plans. You will need to free him and give him this letter. And then I get Elpidios. I'll get it done. We'll strike them hard and fast. We? Oui. It will be faster and more efficient if there's two of us. Getting Elpidios back is my top priority. I'll tolerate you until then. Good. The feeling is mutual. I've wasted enough time here. Come back when you finish disrupting the order. There's more to be done. Calm, aren't they? Moments like these. The moments before the end. If you've hurt my son, nothing will protect you. No man, no beast, no god. He's safe with me, Alexios. Happy, healthy. And I promise you, he always will be. Where is Elpidios? Where is my son? Far from war. Far from danger. Far from you. I once swore to the people I loved that I would crush the Order. Believe me, I will keep that promise. You think you can destroy us? <laughs> the Order's plan goes well beyond you, Alexios. What? Ever the hero. Thinking this is all about you. This isn't about any one of us. It's about that most precious of things, peace. This war between Athens and Sparta threatens to incinerate more than just the Greek world. The carnage and butchery have spread to Persia and beyond. The Order has the power to save the world. And so we will. My agents are rooted deeply in every aspect of Greek life. We have seeped into your establishments, your temples, your homes. We are winning the hearts of your people. Through the Order's influence and Persia's wealth, Sparta will end this war. A new chapter in history will be written by us. We have planted a seed in the fertile soil that is the Greek people. And now, peace will grow. Only one threat to that peace remains. You. You want a war, you monster? I'll give you a war. 
you already have. You're a tainted one. The strongest, most dangerous force the Order has ever seen. You are fire. Only you stand in the way of the Order's purpose. You've forgotten our promise, old friend. Artabanus. I wondered when you'd make your dramatic entrance. Think of the innocent lives that were lost, Amorgius. You claim to want peace, but what good is peace when it's enforced by tyranny? I fought for the greater good, for our children, for their futures. I saved your grandson, and I saved Artaxerxes that night. Do you remember? I saved him from you. Tell us where Elpidios is. I'm sorry. As long as I breathe, I will never endanger the child by letting him raise him. But she also sets. My time is over, old friend. We were protectors, Amorgus. We were champions of Persia. Of the people. I still am our Hvanus. I only wanted to keep our home safe. The world safe. The child of Orcus, please. He's on a small island just off the coast of Messenia. Perfect spot for fishing. The Order will never give up, Alexios. You and your boy will always be hunted. And he will always have me to protect him. The Order aren't just a group of people. They're an idea. An idea cannot be beaten. An idea cannot be destroyed. 
not by blades, but through knowledge, through wisdom, through ideas of our own. Nothing is absolute, Amorgus. You taught me that a long time ago. There will always be tyrants. And there will always be you, my brother, to stop them. Go in peace, old friend. Watch over my son. Every day, every night, Amorgis made sure of it. Thank you. You know, he has a real Spartan appetite. <laughs> Tell me about it. Butter's got so many stories to tell you. <laughs> and you've got some stories for Butter too, I see. Who are you? I am Darius. Son of the Persian king, Artaxerxes. Artaxerxes. You know my father. We've met, but it's been a while. He's a good king and a great father. Persia knows peace. She prospers. I miss him. Keep Persia safe. That is his legacy. Time. Just a moment longer. It has to be now. What will you do? Morgus was right. I am fire. I'll use that. A beacon to the Order. If they want to come after my bloodline, they'll know exactly where to find me. But they'll never find... And, uh, what will you do, Darius? The Order was created for a purpose. If I can understand our enemy, I can outmaneuver them. I will protect the boy Alexios, be a guardian to Elpidios and to all those who share his blood. When the day comes, when he asks of his pater, <sighs> what should I tell him?
If Elpidios comes looking for me, it might be the Order who find him. Tell him only that his parents are dead. But you are loved, Elpidios. You will always be loved. You'll fight, and you'll fall. There will be times when you'll think you can't rise again. You'll want to stay down, but you will get up, Elpidios. Because you're strong. Because our bloodline is strong. And because we always get up. You'll ask why. And while you'll never know me, know this. You are my son, and I will always fight for you. You, and those that will come after. Don't get in my way! It was you this whole time? You let me worry about these delinquents? All my worry, all this suffering, was because of you! I told you, I'm getting to that gate, whether Persephone likes it or not! Now get out of my way! I will not! It doesn't have to be like this, Hermes! It could have been different between us! You were my friend! But you've given me no option. I have to protect the one I love. So, this is what friendship means to you? Come <laughs> on. 
pathetic! You failed me for the last time, Herr Mistris Megistus! Persephone's control over Elysium needs to end. Now! You! Don't move a muscle! Don't let him get away with anything! We're in this together. I'll always be at your service. Even outside of Elysium? If it comes to that? I'll be there. For now, I'll leave you too. I'm sure there's plenty to talk about. You're making a huge mistake. With war brewing outside my window, I wonder what you'd suggest I do instead. Your beautiful Elysium has turned to rubble. All because of your stubbornness, Persephone. You fool! I made this place beautiful for you! Nothing I've ever done for your love has been good enough! You're a prisoner too. You should know it's impossible to love your captor. This is the last time I'll ask. Let us go. Let me go. I do love you, Adonis. And true love is selfless. Go. Treat Aphrodite better than you ever treated me. Thank you, Persephone. I'm forever grateful. Go easy on Alexios. Your turn. We don't have to do this. Just let me pass through Elysium. Adonis would have rallied the people, with or without my help. You're lying! Persephone, you don't have to control everything. You're free to let go. Maybe you can finally go home. You know nothing of what I've been through. I was stolen from your world. I had no choice but to take this one for myself. Oh, 
The last mortal to dance with Cerberus and live was Heraclius. But then he had Athena and Hermes wrapped around his mighty finger. So tell me, who's wrapped around your finger? Which god helped you slay my beast? There were no gods in that pit. Just me and my spear. <laughs> ah. So you did have help from the gods. I know who you are. What you've done. And I'd say you owe me, Keeper. It wasn't my plan to be thrown down that hole. But here I am. What do you want from me? Thanks to you, my realm is more chaotic than ever. With Cerberus gone, there's nothing to stop the dead from crossing over to the world of the living. So find another dog. You find another dog! I'm sorry you had to see that. The blood runs hot in my family. <clears throat> you did this, so I think it's only fair that you fix it. Fine. Tell me where you keep the multi-headed monsters around here, and I'll be right back. <laughs> no, 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 my dear Keeper. My realm, my rules. I have four gates. Instead of one guardian for them all, I want you to find me four guardians. One for each of them. The underworld is filled with kings, heroes, legends. All lost. All trying to find purpose. You could give them that purpose. Teach me how to use this staff. And it's a deal. Ah, yes. The trials of the Keeper. I've already heard how you'll stop at nothing to figure out that boring little stick of yours. This boring little stick? Tell you what. Go talk to my ferryman, Harun. Help him put things back in order. And I'll help you fulfill your destiny. See what you've done? These are everywhere now. Fix it. Oh, I'll fix it. My brother and I have a little wager on whether or not you'll succeed in your quest. Don't let me down. You don't want to owe me twice. Alexios returns. Victory written across his face. Where's your brother? 
Not here to settle any bets? It's already been settled. He lost. The gates have their guardians. Haron's lost souls have found peace. Now, tell me what you know about the staff. <laughs> I never promised you that. I promised to fulfill your destiny. Enough games, Hades. I did as you asked. We had a deal. You were never in a position to bargain with me. Your life was mine. The moment you killed Cerberus, I could have had anyone place guardians at those gates. Truth is, I needed you to grow a custom. What are you talking about? Oh, did I not mention? I have a fifth gate. And you're going to spend the rest of eternity protecting it. That is your destiny. I didn't bow to your wife, and I won't bow to you. <laughs> oh, you'll fucking bow. Shame it has to be. You would have made an excellent addition to my dead hero collection. Collect this! end up here eventually. Why fight? Don't see what's funny. You act like any of this matters. But you're a prisoner wherever 
here you are. Malaka! Enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hey, this has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here. Nor release you. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. Anywhere's better than here. I won't forget this. Castis has returned. I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. The Isu are out of control. What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it. Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to him, you know. Judo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here. Now! Such sadness. He's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer him. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. You, hybrid, can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohiras. Aida. You didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympos will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Dikastis Vasilevs. Dikastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. It's too late. The procedure was already a success. The Agadochires lives. Can't you hear him stir? You did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that 
sound. Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two, but I need you to stop the Ekatohires before he kills us all. Go!
remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where is Juno and Etta? Imprisoned. For now. But they will not stop. If imprisonment won't stop them, then leave them alone in a room with me. I'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. And what would that prove? That you're as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this, and to save those that have suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gastis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatojires, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You said it yourself. Juno and Etta will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There's only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place. One wish is that I had more time to learn from you. In time, I may have learned to be more human. Here, Poseidon.
死んでいる。